What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be installing a various engineering turbo heat shield for my 2020 GR Supra or BMW or whatever you want to call it. I don't care. It's a pretty simple installation. Um, you don't follow my videos. I rate the scale of difficulty based on beer. So I imagine that this is probably going to be a half of a pint if not a full pint challenge. So other than that, sit back, relax, grab something to drink and I'll catch you in a second. All right, y'all. Once again, thanks my buddy Joe Wu for opening this up. I'll put a link below um, to Speed Industry where I purchased this turbo heat show from. It comes in two colors, either black or silver. Uh, it's both Cerakoted. Unfortunately, they are out of black, so I opted for the silver piece. Uh, I pulled all the fasteners out of there. So you have one here, a little washer, and this one goes on the other side um, for one portion of the turbo heat shield, as you notice. Uh, you have four holes right here. This is your secondary part. What you have to do is remove these fasteners right here to affix this to this. Uh, and you have a spare one that Ferris provided you with in case you lose one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go take a look at the engine bay and uh, see exactly what you have to do to install this. All right, y'all. So here's my arm speed carbon intake. If you have an OEM intake, basically what you're going to do is uh, you have a strut brace, obviously remove that remove the top portion and pull your filter out and remove your actual intake box. But this should give me enough clearance and right down in this area, we have two fasteners we gotta take out. This is a bracket for your OEM turbo heat shield bracket, which I said twice, uh, we're gonna take that out. The other portion is gonna go over here, which is for your wastegate actuator. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, uh, in the future sometime, if this area here permits, I have enough room, I would like to get the various uh, AOS or air oil separator put in there. But yep, let's just go in there, uh, install it, and yeah, it should be pretty easy. Alrighty, simple enough. So there's our little bracket, and up here, that's our wiring loom for one of your uh, downpipe O2 sensors that you'll just remove out of there. There's both of those are 13 millimeters, you pull it out and that's pretty much it. So let's install uh, the piece that goes over your, your wastegate actuator. All right, so here's my Dewalt tool. I think it's a four millimeter Allen head I used to remove these four fasteners here. Remember that's a spare one in case you lose it. You're gonna take these four out and uh, yeah, let's put this over the uh, wastegate actuator. All right, let's carefully slide this in without scratching any carbon or banging up anything. All right, there we go. We're just gonna let it rest gently right there. And now we're gonna grab the main piece to fix uh, right there where we removed the two 13 millimeters prior. So, yep, so far so good. All right, y'all, so here's the OEM heat shield bracket. Here's the various one. Uh, this is pretty substantial. I would say it weighs a couple pounds or you're somewhere else besides America, you know, at least a kilo worth of metal. And what you're gonna do is, as you see here, I have my washer and my fastener. And in between the two brackets, you're gonna affix this little extension like so. So yeah, let's get it in there. All right, this is the fun part to maintain everything while banging up in carbon. Get in there. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Cool. All right, I got a couple threads started in the front. Nope, I lied. Come on. There you go, a couple threads started in the front, and then let's get a couple threads started in the back, and then we'll uh, go ahead and adjust everything. All right, y'all, so here's the main heat shield installed. One, two fasteners right there. Put your wire loom back in place and uh, just snug it up. Um, it's probably maybe, you know, 10 foot pounds, if that. So here's your OEM piece. It's a male end, 13 millimeters. Uh, new hardware has been supplied by Varus, so I had to use uh, one of these to tighten it up. I have no idea what size it is, but you can pre-game it before you fix that. So now let's get the secondary piece with those four fasteners we had from before, and that should be it. All right, y'all. 
there's a reason why Barrier supplied you with a fifth and extra fastener. Uh, <laughs> let's just turn the camera around and show you the uh, secondary part of the heat shield. It was a pain in the ass, but I didn't lose it. All right, y'all, here's everything installed. I checked the clearance right here. I mean, you can see it, free little white wastegate actuator, so it's enough clearance. So uh, here and here is good. Here is fine to get all the way down because this part likes to shift and move around. It's very hard to find that thread. Um, there's not much clearance down there. As you can see, I have very, you know, skinny, small fingers. So it's even somewhat difficult for me to get to the fastener way down there. But uh, yeah, it just takes a little bit of patience. Um, you can get it, but you know, overall, it's a pretty easy mod. I probably only had a couple sips of my pint, and uh, yeah, not too bad. So let's let's keep the engine temps down. Yeah. All right. We also have the some little Gucci items here. Another one up there from. Uh, who, who's this from? I don't know who this is. Blackline? Yeah, Blackline. <laughs> but uh, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get these from. Um, also from Speed Industry. Uh, it's a pretty simple installation. So what you can't tell, it looks like a solid piece, but um, actually on top or on the bottom of the metal piece, it actually um, affixes itself to the, uh, I guess, the plastic caps. So it's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's not an actual replacement. It's just a cover for it. So that kind of fooled me. But uh, overall, you know, it's, a, it's probably about 120 bucks. Add a little, uh, little bling, a little flare to engine bay. Um, you know, next project is a carbon engine cover and a DME cover up there. And uh, that should be pretty much it for the engine. So, yeah, thanks for checking the channel out once again. Uh, be good, take it easy, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.